If you found your mutual fund SIP stuck or if you were not able to redeem your investments from a particular fund over the last couple of weeks due to a KYC issue, there's some good news to share. Market regulator SEBI has decided to relax some of the new KYC guidelines offering relief to investors whose KYC status had changed to hold from the 1st of April this year. Okay, let me dial back a bit to give you some context on the KYC controversy. Starting from April 1, the mutual fund industry had to comply with new KYC regulations that bucketed the KYC status of an investor into three categories, KYC validated, KYC registered and KYC on hold. All mutual fund investors like you and me need to have our KYC validated to ensure seamless transactions, whether it's new investments uh, or investments in a running SIP, investments in a totally new mutual fund scheme altogether, or redemptions from any particular mutual fund. The new regulations have made it mandatory for investors to submit their Aadhaar details in order to have a KYC validated status. Consider this KYC status as a green channel of sorts which allows you to freely continue transacting across AMCs. The problem, however, was that those investors that didn't have a KYC validated status or had a KYC registered status because they hadn't submitted their Aadhaar or hadn't linked Aadhaar with PAN, they were no longer allowed to invest in a new mutual fund with a new AMC. They could only transact with their existing AMC where they had a verified KYC. The even bigger problem was for investors whose KYC status had changed to on hold. Forget investing in a new fund. For such investors, all transactions came to a halt, including being able to redeem their investments and get their money back. Now, taking investor feedback as well as AMC concerns on board, SEBI has now decided to offer some concessions. Let me tell you what they are. Number one, investors having a KYC on hold status will now be allowed to redeem their investments subject to due diligence from the respective mutual fund houses. Industry sources tell me that if an investor has a valid PAN and a verified email ID or a registered phone number, then in all likelihood, they will be allowed to redeem their investments. Number two, the second big relief is the way the AMC contacts us. The new norms had made it mandatory for both the email ID and the mobile number to be active, registered and valid. SEBI has now offered to relax this condition to just one, which means either email or phone number must be valid and verified. Number three, now the third relief comes in for NRIs, many of whom don't have Aadhaar cards. NRIs have been given a one-year extension to meet these new norms. That is, till the 1st of April 2025 to get a KYC validated status. They can, in the meantime, continue transacting freely across MF schemes with the current relaxation. Industry body AMFI, the Association of Mutual Funds of India, says that the number of people impacted with the KYC on hold status was actually quite small, just about 3% of the total. But even for uh, this small segment, SEBI's relaxation and SEBI's olive branch will perhaps offer big, big relief, especially in cases of, uh, let's say, senior citizens. AMC sources, however, do indicate that investors should not become complacent as this relief is likely to be temporary. So it is best to check your KYC status with your KYC registration agency and ensure that you come in the KYC validated category by submitting all the details, Aadhaar, PAN, updated email, as well as phone number to your KYC registration agency. Thank you for watching CNBC TV 18 and do follow us on all our social media platforms for news, updates and more.